You are able to calculate the total input noise for an op-amp based audio amplifier. This is noise which is generated internally in the op-amp and its surrounding components. This noise gets amplified along with your uh, incoming signal. There's three main types of uh, uh, noise sources. The first is called the input noise voltage, labeled E sub N. In the uh, LM833 op amp we're using in this example, the uh, input noise voltage at 1 kilohertz is uh, 4.5 nanovolts per root hertz. The second noise source is called the input noise current, labeled I sub N. And for the uh, LM833 at 1 kilohertz, it's 0 0.7 picoamps per root hertz. The uh, input noise current only generates a noise voltage when it passes through an impedance or resistance. So we often refer to that as the I sub N times R sub S noise. The third type of noise is called thermal noise or Johnson noise. And this is uh, generated internally uh, in the components themselves based on the ohmic value and the uh, temperature and the bandwidth of the circuit. The uh, equations to determine thermal noise are quite complicated. But we can reduce these uh, by assuming a couple of things. We can assume a 290 degree Kelvin temperature, which is uh, room temperature, and a 1 hertz bandwidth. That reduces the equation to uh, the square root of R times 1.64 times 10 to the negative 20th, where R is your resistor or impedance value you want to calculate the thermal noise for. And that's usually uh, in microvolts. Then to determine the total noise voltage, you take the square root of your uh, E sub N squared plus I sub M times R sub S squared plus your thermal noise V sub N squared. In this uh, example schematic I have here, I reduced uh, this is a much simpler uh, version. All the values are still the same. We need to, we have two main um, noise sources, or essentially two main noise impedances. On the uh, inverting to ground here, we have uh, our 100 ohm resistor in series with our uh, 4.7 microfarad capacitor. We call that Z1. And then we have the uh, 10k microphone bias resistor in parallel with our 100k uh, op amp bias resistor. We'll call that Z2. Now we need to determine the uh, impedance of these two networks at 1 kilohertz. Uh, the 4.7 microfarad cap in series with the 100 ohm resistor is uh, 106 ohms impedance at 1 kilohertz, and the uh, two resistors in parallel are 9,000 ohms at 1 kilohertz. Now we need to calculate the actual noise voltages. We have the op amp E sub N we've taken from the uh, data sheet, which is uh, 4.5 uh, nanovolts. We have our two I sub M times R sub S noise sources. We take the Z1, which is 106 ohms. That was uh, our uh, series combination Z1. 106 times 0 0.7 picoamps. We get uh, 0 0.07 nanovolts. And for our Z2, which was uh, the parallel combination of that, 9,000 times 0 0.7 picoamps, we get 6.3 nanovolts. Now we need to calculate the thermal noise of those two impedances. The square root of 106 times 1.64 times 10 to the negative 20, we get 1.3 nanovolts. And for our second impedance value, uh, 9,000 times 1.64 times 10 to the negative 20, the square root of that, 12.1 nanovolts. Punch all these into that uh, quadrature equation, and we get uh, a total of 14.4 nanovolts per root hertz. So this op amp adds 14.4 nanovolts per root hertz noise to any incoming uh, signal. As you can see, the main source of noise is our Z2, which is our essentially our source uh, impedance. We need to lower our source impedance value to get the lower noise. And consequently, that also lowers, lowers the uh, I sub N times R sub S noise as well. The actual op amp noise really isn't that bad and uh, you can see why using really expensive op amps for uh, high, impedance uh, high impedance sources really is just a waste. Because 
you want to minimize your uh, source impedance as much as you can for the lowest noise possible.